are ready. So what I'm going to show you next is how to find the value of this in a calculator. Okay? You can also do it in your head. Can you tell me what's the square root of 4? We already know we're expecting 8 as the final answer, but where did that come from? Can you tell me, like, what's the square root of 4 even before we use the calculator? Can you type in the chat pod? 2. Very good. So the square root of 4 is 2, right? So let me write it down. And then what does it mean to raise 2 to the third power? It means you multiply 2 by itself 3 times, right? So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, so see how we ended up with the same answer but using two different methods, right? So we kept this number small by writing the exponent outside instead of inside. Because you know what they did here? What they did here was 4 times 4 is 16 times 4. That's where the 64 comes from. But my point in showing you this is if you're having a hard time with bigger numbers, then make the number smaller or keep the number smaller, right? By getting the square root first before you raise it to the exponent. Okay? Now let's go to the calculator. I'm going to clear the ink. The good thing about having this is screencasted, if you miss something, you can easily just take a screenshot later on um, when you're re-watching the video, right? Okay, I'm going to clear this ink right here. Close, clear the ink. Okay, I gave you a link to a calculator here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to go back to that later on. Because I discussed that everything yesterday and then I run out of time. Okay, so click on this one. Decimal Scientific Calculator. All right, do you know that the calculator used during SBAC, you know, the online version, I don't know if there are tests this year, but it's a version of decimals. So it's good if you make yourself familiar. Now in the chat bot, can you tell me if you have a handheld calculator? If you have a calculator of your own? Phones don't count. Phones don't count. I don't want to teach you how to do this on the phone because you're not going to use your phone in actual tests, right? So, okay. Nope, you don't have one. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. If we are in the classroom, I normally have a class set. But if you, if, if in the future you plan to take, you know, SAT and stuff like that, then you have to make yourself kind of familiar with handheld calculators. Okay, but for now, since we're doing this remotely, we got to do what we have to do. So I'm going to give you decimals. Okay. All right. So let's try. We were trying to we were trying to get square roots or cube roots of some numbers, right? So let's look at uh, the first example here. Find the indicated um, find the indicated real nth root of a. So first, we have to rewrite it in a calculator-ready form, right? So let's put it in a radical form. So the nth root, the nth root is your index. It tells you whether you're getting the second root or square root or the third root or the cube root. So this goes inside. Is it safe to say that the bigger number always goes under the radical sign? Yeah, 98% of 99% of the time, the bigger number goes right here. Okay. All right. So how do we do that in the calculator? Where did my calculator go? Okay. All right. You ready? First, did you open the link? Okay. First, click on this. You see the nth root? You say that the nth root. Okay. Click on that. Now, what does it tell you to do? You're going to put a number outside. That's your index. So can you tell me what number you're going to put there? Can you type in the chat pod what you're going to put in there? Three. Very good. Okay. Now, what will you put under the radical sign? Negative 27. Very good. Let's do that. 
and see your answers show up on this side right here very good Aiden and Juliet okay now what's gonna happen if you remove the negative go ahead try remove the negative boom you're gonna have positive three right now let's play around some more what's gonna happen if you put the negative in front boom you're still gonna get negative three but that problem now is different from what we're doing okay their answers just look the same but they're they're different okay anyway going back to what we were doing negative all right okay so let's write it down the correct answer here is negative three all right now let's try again let's turn this into a calculator ready form uh-huh so let's see what goes for the index what goes outside four what goes inside sixteen very good okay so now let's try that in the calculator let's see if this is my calculator okay there you go if you uh okay this is the bad thing about having so many controls open sorry i gotta find okay all right if you click on this blue button over here it will save all your previous calculations and it will give you a new one okay so if you think that you need to review your answers later on you don't have to you know delete all of them at once so you can click on the blue one all right so let's do this fourth root of 16 oh brandon already got it all right okay well keep going if you find me slow honey don't let me slow you down so four and then here i just want to make sure everybody knows how to do it in the calculator so keep answering the next one yeah there's more at the bottom okay so fourth root of 16 and brandon said two can you type two in the chat pod if it also came up in your calculator and don't fake it you really have to try it. If you don't know how to do it in the calculator, you're going to let me. You're going to get 14 points today just by knowing how to use that calculator. Okay. All right, so only four said two. What about the others? If you're not typing two, you're going to tell me why. Do you, do you need me to, to show you again how to use the calculator? don't be lazy type two so i would know that you're getting it if you're not getting it you tell me why so i can teach you i counted eight or 30 something okay nice all right so now let's let's go down so this is two um all right Let's clear the ink and let's go down. Ooh. Can you show the calculator again, please? Sure. I'll show it again over here, honey. I'll slow down a little bit. Yep. Okay. Thank you for telling me. So don't hesitate to tell me what you need. Otherwise, I can't help you. And if you're just doing it in the calculator and not writing it on one note, that's okay. What's more important is you know how to do it in the calculator. Okay, so here we go. Cecily, I'm going to do it again. So first, if this number is bigger than 2, you have to click on this one. See, these, these two are similar, but, but the first one doesn't have a number outside or a letter. This is a square root only. If it's a square root, meaning it's, it's the second root. So if it's more than 2, you click on this. Okay. I don't know how to get to the calculator. Oh, okay. Um, you know what, honey? Uh, I have a link over here. Did you see this on your notebook? Click on that one. Let me know if you find it. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. So where were we? And my calculator is missing again. Okay. So cube root right here. Cube root. And then we put here negative 8. So what's the answer? 
Negative two. Okay. Let's try the next one. Be careful. The negative is now outside. So negative first. Yeah. Okay. And then it's three. So you need this. Boom. Three. Eight. You see how they have answers, but they look different here? So be careful. Okay, if you got negative 2 for A and B, type in the chat pod. I want to see negative 2 in the chat pod if you got those for A and B. Only 2? Really? All right. Nice. Good job. Okay. Oh, now we have a problem here. They don't have that radical yet. So you have to turn them into a calculator ready form, yeah? So how? Like this, right? The base goes big inside the radical sign. Oh, that's a numerator, that's a denominator. Remember in, out, in. Okay, so in is one, four is out. Okay, then maybe you're, you're thinking, miss, Will that one really affect the answer? Not really. Yeah. Okay. So, let's try that. Um, so, this, 4, 16. Okay, how do you put the exponent 1? If you just want to make sure that you're doing it right. You can click on this one. You see the A raised to B? If you click on that, it will give the 16 an exponent. You, you can put 1 if you want. Okay, so the answer is 2. But if you delete that, would the answer also be 2? Actually, yes, right? So that's why I said it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you put the 1 or not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops. So type 2 if you got 2. I saw George and Joshua and Brandon and Juliet and Aiden. Awesome! What about the others? Let's go, Sean. Sean, if you have questions, let me know, okay? And Cicely also. I'm happy that you are in our class this semester, but you got to let me know, like, what you need, okay? Communication is the key. Awesome. Next. Ooh, let's try this. This is going to be interesting. This last one over here, go ahead, try. Okay, right, let's do this. I'm not going to write it on the one note anymore, okay? I'm going to go straight here. So what do I put for the index? Type in the chat pod. What's my index? Four. Very good. Remember, the bottom number goes outside. Now, what do I put for the base or the radicand? The radicon, what's the radicon in the problem? The base. The base becomes the radicon. What do I put? Negative 16. Very good. And then if I want to give it an exponent 1, we can do that too. Ooh. Look what happened. Okay. So look what happened. Is there an answer? Came out to be undefined. Why? Can you explain why? Why is it undefined? Okay, it's undefined because, oh, you know what? If you remove the negative right here, you will get an answer. See how one sign makes the whole thing go cray cray? All right, so if it were, if it were positive 16, it's 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16, right? So the fourth root of positive 16 is 2. But if you get the fourth root of negative 16, it's undefined. So why is it undefined? Because you can't multiply negative 2 by itself four times and get an answer that's negative. Because a pair is positive, another pair is positive. So positive times positive must be positive. Okay? All right, so that's why it's undefined. I'm going to clear the ink. 
I'm going to model how you will do your homework later on before we do the Schoology. Okay. Let's do this. So in your homework, okay, there will be something like this. So the the numerator will no longer be one. So how do you write how do you write this in a calculator ready form? Well, you're doing the same thing that we were using earlier. You write the base as a radicand. Remember, this is inside, this is outside. So four goes outside, but now the three goes in. But remember what I said earlier? Sometimes it's better to write the numerator outside the parentheses. There you go. If you don't have a calculator. But if you do have a calculator, then just put them like that. You're going to get the same answer anyway. Okay? You got the answer already? Oh, not there yet. Okay, hang on. So let me do this. Let's do this. I'll click on the blue thingy. Oh, I can't make it smaller anymore. All right. Did you get an answer already? Go ahead. Beat me. So, um, click. Okay. Four outside. 16 inside. I deleted some questions on my folder. You don't have those. So what? Okay, Christian, I have, I have a solution to that. You gotta go to my folder and then you copy them from my folder. You get know what I mean? Let's talk about that later. Okay. So, um, now you're gonna put the exponent 3 like this. Oh, you got the answer already? Man, okay, wait up. Alright. Yes, it's 8. But remember, that will also, just wondering if I can copy and paste. Oh, heck yeah. Alright, so, oh shoot. So, um, see this one? You can also put that in parentheses. There you go. I have to delete that thing right here. All right, then three. So see, you're gonna get the same answer, right? Uh huh. Okay. So, using what you just learned from there, your homework will be here. Go all the way to the bottom. You see this puzzle right here? Why did the mother skunk take her baby to see the doctor? And what you will do is to, you know. We write this, uh huh, with expo with um, fractional exponents. Let's say, for example, let's say this one is eight, right? You're taking it out of the radical, and the number inside is one, and the number outside is two. Remember, when there's no number outside, it's automatically two. So this one will be eight to the one half. And where is that? There, letter A. So in number one at the bottom, you're gonna put letter A. Okay? All right. So that's for your homework. Oh, we get homework, huh? Because we don't meet until next week. Forgot. Okay. All right. But that's not what I'm excited about. Okay, so let's close this one. And let's go to Schoology. You better get all perfect scores in this one. Okay, go to period 4. Uh-huh. Really, Arciaga? It's not there yet. <laughs> okay, I got too excited. I forgot I have not copied them yet. Okay, here we go. Week four, copy to course. Don't you love Schoology? Okay. The stuff we did today in our notebook, do we send it through Remind? You can do that as well, honey. Or you can do what Juliet did. Like, um, it's up to you. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah, if you send me something, then I'll help you with that. Um, when I get the time, though. Like, don't expect me to do it, like, um, right after. So, this one, week four. Click on week four, everybody. Uh, I have to change this later. We got, I have to put the video. So, if you guys missed something... I put the video in here, but this is for my period three. I'm going to replace that with the video I'm creating for your class today. So if you're absent, then I'm just going to put the videos there and then watch it, okay? All right. Or subscribe to my channel. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
So simplify radicals. Let's do this. Yep. All right. Um, you are going to use your calculator to find the answers. You only have one attempt, so try not to mess up. Okay. There you go. So for example, how do I do that in a calculator? Um, I go square root. You see, if there's no number here, you Mommy, use the square root true. symbol. So square root Mommy, of 2. Mommy. Hang on, honey. Mommy's talking to my students. Mommy. 225. Yes. So the answer is 15. Yes. Oh, it's a square root. So now where do you put the answer 15? Go to the bottom. Go tiger. to the bottom. Oh, a tiger. Tiger started at one, two, three, okay, and okay. there you go. Yeah. 14. 14. Very good. Okay. All right, you guys. So that's where you're going to put the answer. Sorry for my kiddo. Okay. All right. So... Now you guys do the work and let me know when you finish. There's two of them that you got to do, seven points each. I hope you get seven, seven, seven for both. Okay, game. Do the work. No, like, don't go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, do your work. <laughs> no, um, yeah, like, like, do the work. Yeah, in school, Uh huh. Oh, sorry for that, Giovanni. It's okay, honey. I'm happy that you came back. So, Giovanni, they're doing... Okay, my other device blacked out for some reason. Okay. Do we leave? No, do the work. Like, do the work. We still have time. You're going to regret leaving if you leave. You won't be able to ask questions. <laughs> right? Do your work now. Okay, because if you leave, you're never going to get it done. I know that for sure. Alright, so while you're working, I'm going to make sure I got everybody for attendance. Okay. Giovanni is here. Alvarado is here. My other screen went there. Where is that? It's in Schoology, honey. It's called Sim Simplifying Radicals. Samuel, no, Sean is here, Jacob is here. Okay, no, Belinda, I'm ready. Yes. Wait, I saw his sister coming in earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't his sister. It was oh, yeah. okay. If you guys need office hours, I have Brandon from this class and one more from <clears throat> period three later. You're welcome to join us so you can block out that whole 30 minutes to just algebra. Nobody signed up for geometry today, so. You have time. You click on the office hours link in school g at 2 15 2 15 and please be ready with your questions okay yeah because if you like think of your question right there and then then you're never going to get anything done in 30 minutes If it's delta math, you already like 
open your delta mask, you know. If it's if it's on one note, be ready with your one note. <clears throat> okay, anybody done? Did anybody get seven? There's no other score today but seven. <laughs> Anyone? Yeah. So Aiden, did you get seven? Yes. What's that U W U? -U? <laughs> okay, not bad. Six over seven is fine. There's another one. A face. How is that even a face? Okay. Sicily, awesome. All right. Okay. Face, face. Well, I'm giving you a happy face right now because you did good. There's next one. Go, go, go. Here we go. 6.2. What's the name? This one. Simplifying rational expressions. 7 over 7. All right. Awesome. I'm hyper today, huh? I got two cups of coffee to wake me up. That's fine. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, be careful for this one. So remember, when you type this in in your calculator, you you do you do this. You won't you won't go wrong with this one. If the denominator is two, it's optional. Just but just put it there, you know. And then if you want to use the exponent, boom, and that gives you the answer. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do it. I need to go for business. All right, just just don't skip your business with me today later in school, G, okay? Yep, all right. Have a good weekend, honey. I'll see you next week. Yeah. All right. Oh, she has a business going on. Okay. Um, I know, I know. Now, don't give me that face. Okay. Just go and be and do your work <laughs> later. <laughs> I don't like that face. Okay. Do we just put two instead of one half? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. You too, honey. Have a nice day. Um, what was I doing? Okay. Augustine, you texted me one time, Miss, I have a question. And then there was no question. And then I asked you, what's your question? And then you never replied. Or maybe you replied, but I already, I probably was busy. I don't know. Tell me, what's your question now? Next time, guys, if you message me in Schoology, it will take me forever to see it. So I told you, text me. <clears throat> All right. I want to see more 7 over 7. Are you done? Woohoo! Let's go. That's Henry, right? Awesome. Already. Okay, guys, one minute. Well, it's not going to close, but I'll let you go at 11.15. All right, any more seven? Come on. Seven is the way to go. It's your lucky number today. Who got seven? Hey, are you guys T-Mobile? Do you have T-Mobile as your subscriber? Did you know you can upgrade your phones or something like that? <clears throat> How do you check your score? Refresh your page. Oh, cool. I did not even know that. All right, you guys. Hey, Joshua, did you do your work, man? Come on. 
You did do your work. I'm gonna call home today. Did you do your work? You better. Or I'm gonna be on the phone later talking to you. <laughs> All right. Okay, and some of you are missing, missing some work. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sending those phone calls this weekend. Okay. Seven over seven. All right, you guys. Bye. Okay, I have to let you go. It's eleven sixteen. Do your work. Do your work. Awesome, Aiden. Bye, everybody. Happy weekend. Awesome, Brandon. Okay, bye, everybody. Have fun. Take care of yourself. Feel better, Louise. All right. Um, how do I simplify the radicals? I did mark you here, Kimberly. What do you mean simplify the radicals? You have to use your calculator, honey. Like, like this, like how we showed, um, here. Uh, you see this one? You have to, like, enter it in the calculator. That's how you... Yeah, this one is the simplifying radicals. This was the first part. So you just click on square root or this, depending on what type of root they're getting. Uh huh. And then you enter what's the answer from the calculator. Okay, I hope that helped a little bit. Awesome. Okay, I have to prepare for a homeroom at 11.30. So I got to let you go. All right. Bye, everybody. Happy weekend. You too.